We are delivering food to folks who are food insecure, and the food was prepared by um, Medium Rare, uh, which is a restaurant in Arlington. Are you Ms. Wade? And your granddaughter? She arranged for us to bring you a meal. So we brought you that. She was a little worried about you because she has the flu, so she couldn't visit. I've been worried about people who aren't able to get out and get to the grocery store. And I was on Twitter last night, which is what I'm usually on, and I happened to see a tweet by a company that I don't even follow, the restaurant, um, Medium Rare. Um, I saw a tweet that said, we're looking for people to maybe deliver when we have meals that need to go to folks. So I dropped them a note and said that I'm available and I'm happy to help. And they replied to me this afternoon asking if I could deliver a couple of meals. Thank you. I'm feeling powerless, which is why I jumped at this opportunity because this makes me feel like I'm doing something and I'm not just sitting at home gnashing my teeth worrying about things I have no control over. Hi, I'm from Medium Rare. My son heard, the, heard about it. Uh, he said it was a, uh, a restaurant he goes to. Uh, and he was talking to me this afternoon. Now, my son is a lot more concerned about me than I am. He's saying, don't go out of the house, don't talk to anybody, don't do anything. Yeah, I said, I'm not going to be a hermit. I'm going to still live, but I'm going to be cautious about how I live. I think we need to remember that we're all going through it. And I think we're all vulnerable, just maybe in different ways. We're all, we just need to watch out for each other. Hi, Neil. This is Linda from Medium Rare. We're um, just parking the car, so I'll ring your doorbell in a couple of minutes. Mr. I'll be 80 in two months. I've had high blood pressure. So <clears throat> I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to stay in my room until Medium this Rare. thing abates. You know, you don't need to be scared witless and, and think the world's coming to an end or anything like that. But I think you do need to um, to take it seriously. And since, you know, it's out there, I think the safest thing, the way to contain it right now, if you can stay indoors, I think you should.